My name's uh, Gerald Libby. That's my English name. Well, my Ojibwe name is Obishki Denise. We had a solar training program here on heat, and Henry Red Cloud was the teacher, and I was so happy for him to come over here, you know, give us his training on the White Earth Reservation here. Hey, what's the next one? The white blower to white scent. Okay, so Henry led a five-day workshop training a team of six White Earth tribal members how to install passive solar air heating systems on tribal homes. With him, he brought 10 solar air heaters manufactured at the Red Cloud Renewable Energy Training Center in Pine Ridge, South Dakota. The team assembled the framework for the heaters and loaded up the truck for a trip across the reservation to perform initial site assessments. Henry walked everyone through the process of mapping, prepping, and installing his passive solar air heating system. And by the end of the first day, the team from White Earth was ready to put their new knowledge to work. So it looks like it's green light to me. About four foot this way. All right. So we'll get more of that sun right there. Yeah, the leaves yeah. are gone. Those leaves Winter are going to be gone, yeah. Henry's system can be installed within a few hours and save families on heating costs for the next 20 years. Thanks to the collaborative efforts from dedicated partners, Ojibwe Wind was able to employ a team of six to install all 10 heaters at no cost to the homeowners. So while saving white earth on heating costs, the project also created jobs on the reservation in an emerging renewable energy economy. We gotta transfer over, you know, get off that grid, get on you know, a little bit of wind, a little bit of solar. So there's a lot of energy. And then, that's free. Mm, yeah. There you go. And you could heat your whole, your whole entire house all day long with that seven hours of the sunlight, and you'll be saving more. You'll be saving a lot more. And then once you have that savings, once you start to save around renewable energy around, you're going to start spending your money here in the local community on the rest. So you're building an economy around this. Everybody wins. Everybody wins, not only the business owner, the homeowner, no, federal agencies save, tribal agencies save, housing authorities, heating, tribes, for instance, last year our tribe, geez, our propane was up there, was it here? Yep, as well too. This past winter, our tribe must have put out pretty close to $3 million in helping relatives save more because of propane prices. $3 million. Instead of giving Mr. Propane guy that lives off the res, I mean, even a, a member or anything, giving him, you know, three million dollars when he can build the economy around it, which is really, you know, critical. And it's fun too, because we have that opportunity to do that. As, as you know, natives, we have that opportunity. That's great. It's like rebuilding of a nation to me. Mm -hmm. You know, taking our old way and then taking this new way mm -hmm. and then rebuilding of a, of a nation because we can't step back in time and be living yeah. back that time. No, we got to step forward all the time. And we take our ways and we take non-native ways and then combine them, yeah. you know, together. That something that we feel good about as well as non-natives. Embrace it as well, saying, hey, yeah, shit, I want that, I gotta have that too. You know, it's all about, you know, rebuilding, <coughs> saving some money, stimulating the economy where we can build our own economy. We can't, utilizing stuff like this, doing stuff like this. I really thank you guys for uh, having Henry come and teaching uh, White Earth members like me and my daughter and my son-in-law there. This trade, this new trade that's coming, I'm so glad that it is here.